This is Euclid Book 4, Proposition Number 7, and I know a lot of people have been waiting for this for a very long time, but here it is, people. Uh, we're going to have a circle here, and it's called A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. And what we're going to do is we're going to circumscribe a square around A, B, C, D. Okay, first we draw A, B, C, D, and then we draw two diameters, B, D, and A, C. And these two diameters of the circle are at right angles to each other. Okay, that's given to us. Now, we are also told that line G, F here, and line F, K here, and line HK here, HK, okay, and line GH here, touch circle ABCD, and GF touches ABCD at A, FK, right here, FK here, touches circle ABCD at D, and of course, HK, which is right here, HK, touches circle ABCD at C. And then, of course, GH touches circle ABCD at point B. And this is proved by Euclid Book 3, Proposition Number 16. Now, we have angle EAG and EAF. Okay, so where is EAG and where is EAF? Well, here's EAG. Okay, and EAF. Okay, EAF. EAG, EAF. These two angles right here are right by Euclid Book 3, Proposition Number 18. All right, and then we have angle EBG and EBH. Well, where is EBG? E, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. All right, I got it now. EBG, there's one of them, EBG and EBH. These two angles here are right. Same, same uh, proof. It's 318. Book 3, Proposition 18 says that EBG and EBH are right angles. All right. EDF, EDF, this one here. Okay. And EDK, EDK, these two angles are right. And that's by Euclid, Book 3, Proposition number 18. And ECH, well, where is ECH? ECH, ECH here, ECH, and ECK. These two angles right here are right by the same Euclid, Book 3, Proposition number 18. Okay, now, AEB is right. Okay, we already said that because these two lines here, AC and BD, are drawn right uh, to right angles of each other. So, AED is right angle. Okay, now, EBG is also right angle. EBG, this one here, is also a right angle. This one's a right angle, and this one's a right angle. So that makes uh, line GH parallel to AC. Okay, so here's line GH, and it's parallel to AC. And we can prove this by Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 28. AED and EDF are right. So where is AED? Well, here's AED, and EDF, EDF, these two are right, therefore it makes line AC parallel to FK, AC is parallel to FK, 
And we can say this by Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 28. And by Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 30, Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 30, also by the transitive property, we can now say that line GH is parallel to FK. Okay. Where is angle AEB? Well, AEB is here. This one right here. Okay. EAG. Well, where is EAG? EAG. Now well, that would be this one right here. These two angles are right. Therefore, line BD is parallel to GF. Okay, now, and that's by Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 28. BEC, and okay, well, where's BEC? Here, here's B, here's E, and here's C, so there's that one right there. Alright, and ECH, well, here's E, and here's C, and here's H. Since these two angles are right, then we can then go on to say that BD is parallel to HK. And that's by Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 28. And then, the, by, therefore, by Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 30, we can then go on to say that GF here is parallel to HK down here. <coughs> and then that makes a whole bunch of stuff true. We can say that GBEA is a parallelogram. We can then go on to say that AEDF is a parallelogram. We can go on to say that BECH is a parallelogram. We can go on to say that ECKD is a parallelogram. But then it goes on here. We can go on to say that GBDF is a parallelogram. We can go on to say that BDKH is a parallelogram. We can go on to say that GACH is a parallelogram. We can go on to say that AFKC is a parallelogram. And ultimately we can say that GFKH is a parallelogram. But we have only proven that it's a parallelogram. We have not proven what we want to prove. Okay. Now, GF is equal to HK. GF is equal to HK. And this is by Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 34. And GH is also equal to FK. GH here is equal to FK here. And it's by the same Euclid Book 1 proposition number 34. Now, we already know that AC and BD are equal in size because they're both diameters of a circle. And we now know that AC equals GH, AC equals GH, and we also know that AC equals FK. We know that this line here equals this one, and it also equals this one in length. We also know that BD here is equal in length to GF, and BD is equal in length to HK. <coughs> and we can say all of this by Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 34. So, we can say that G, H, K, F, okay, or we can say it as F, G, H, K, okay, we can say that all, this whole thing here is equilateral, but we have still not proven everything, okay? Now, by Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 34, we can say the following things. 
we can say that AEB and AGB are right. Well, here's AEB, okay, and here's AGB. These two angles here are right angles, okay? We can go on to say that AED, well, here's AED here, and AFD, AFD are right angles. Both of these are right, okay? And then we can go on to say that BEC and BHC, BHC, these two angles are right angles. And then we can go on to say the CED, CED, this one here, and CKD, CKD, these two angles here are also right angles. And we can say all of this by Euclid Book 1, Proposition number 34. So we can say that GHKF, GHKF, this whole square here, is right angled and it is also equilateral which means that we can now finally say that GHKF is a square therefore you have circumscribed a square around a circle and that's what Euclid wanted you to prove I'm sorry this proof took so long I will tell you more in a future video so stay tuned